Hey fellow world wearers, it's Angry Turtle and I promise you a comparison between Combat Shotgun and Gauss Shotgun. And here we go, I will tell you exactly what's the difference and what you should choose, if not both. Then let's maybe start from the weapon card and let's see what we can... And let's see the difference on the paper. Our Combat Shotgun is offering us 166 damage and Gauss Shotgun is offering 567 damage. Therefore, on the paper, the Gauss shotgun is dominating, but actually the difference is not so huge in practice because in case of Gauss shotgun, over half of this damage is explosion. And as you know, explosions are not as powerful as just a direct hit, although still powerful. Another obvious difference will be a range. And case of Gauss shotgun, it's 120 plus, basically unlimited in case of the explosive portion of the damage. What's, as I said before, it's over half, therefore the range is a huge advantage in Gauss shotgun. Combat shotgun, unfortunately, there is only 54 range, even though there is a long barrel on it. And yeah, suppressor is reducing this range, but suppressor is giving so much in exchange that it's still worth it. Another very obvious difference is the ammo that Combat Shotgun is using versus ammo that Gauss Shotgun is using and it's not a secret that regular shotgun shells are way easier to get and much lighter. Therefore that's a huge advantage that we can use just regular shotgun shells. And one more thing that's worth to mention in here, fire rate. Even though the fire rate stated on the Combat Shotgun is 25 and that includes 25% faster fire rate, and on paper, Gauss shotgun is offering fire rate of 67. It's totally meaningless in case of Gauss shotgun. It doesn't actually apply to anything, even to firing it. Like it doesn't do absolutely a thing in here. It's just fake stuff. It doesn't apply to this gun. It's not firing with this speed. Additionally, Gauss shotgun is firing twice as fast in third person than in first person and even though this number will go up, if you will get faster fire rate in here, it will still not affect the actual fire rate of the gun. Therefore, this stat is meaningless and actually fire rate is the benefit of a combat shotgun. It's better than this one, even though on paper it's opposite is true. But let's start using them and then you will exactly know what to choose. Okay, let's start with a Gauss shotgun. Both the Gauss and the Combat are Vampire. And this is a full health build, uh, my Shotgunner build, just a quick look on the perks equipped at this moment, but full details about the build you can see in my support Shotgunner build video. And we have Gulpers in here to test. And let's see. Let's aim for the body. It's not working very well. Uh, let's see for the legs. Yeah, legs are working. Yeah, that's the that's the problem. If we want to get this damage from explosions, we need to aim for legs in in case of bigger creatures, like this angler, for example. We need to aim for leg. And my AP ran out, but that's okay. Aiming for legs or just below legs if I want to use it mainly with explosion and tap it fast without waiting for the charge and that's mainly how I'm using the Gauss shotgun. That's why I demonstrated it in this way. Fortunately there is no more gulpers to test the combat shotgun on them. But we have super mutants and uh, let's test it on super mutants and then we visit some gulpers to shoot them with combat shotgun. Okay, Torzo. He somehow dodged the damage. Yeah, that's a little bit of inconsistency sometimes, but that's fine. And here we aim for the leg again, it's two shot. In two shots we can put him down, but that's assuming we are playing in third person, otherwise our fire rate will get down. And we don't want that, then I don't know which fire rate is intentional. If we choose to charge it to get, get the full damage, let's see the difference, full charge shot in the leg, it's still not one hitting them. Therefore, it's like no purpose in charging this gun as it will be still two hits. And if it will be still two hits, then charging is not very useful. And now let's let's change the gun. 
combat shotgun, vampire. And now we actually can go for the head as we do not rely on explosions. And as you can see, I can dispatch them still really fast. And I'm starting without the sneaking, that there is no sneak bonus. And I'm still taking them down rather, rather quickly. Oh, he actually lost his weapon. But the full damage, we'll see if I start sneaking. I just need to get out of danger. And now we can see the difference if I will be sneaking all those super mutants. Still the downside is very low range, but now you can see that my damage, it's like day and night, at least in case of full health build, as I can use this additional sneak bonus. And they die pretty quickly. Two to three shots, but those are much cheaper shotgun shells and I can fire them really fast and there is no explosions required. And as we are in the topic of explosions, it's worth to mention in here that if I will get a Gauss shotgun with Medic's legendary effect, it will be kind of useless because explosions, for whatever reason, I are cancelling most of the VATS related effects like Medic's. Therefore, Medic combat shotgun is great and Medic Gauss shotgun, it's rubbish. Unless you can use Gauss shotgun aiming into body part that will not trigger any damage from explosions. And yes, I promise we'll kill some galpers with combat shotgun to have a difference visible. And here we are, galper lagoon. And in case of combat shotgun, I can actually play in first person without any issue. First, we take kill of this Scorch officer that is upsetting my guys. Okay, now let's see how quickly we can kill those gulpers with combat shotgun. I think that's, that was quick. Unfortunately, you can see now, when he's far away, I'm not doing any damage. That's the, that's the problem with the wrench. Like, if I'm too far away, I will do absolutely no damage. Even if I hit him, like now, it's no damage. It's basically no damage. That's the biggest downside of combat shotgun. And basically like almost any shotgun. And here were actually the advantage of explosions from this guy comes into play. We swap back to third person and yeah, we cannot aim for the head unless I fully charge and use the critical then you can see I'm doing damage, but it's still not impressive. Like I did damage similar to what I will get with a combat shotgun and look how slowly I'm firing here, yeah, that, that's it. But in case of shooting targets that are far away and just tapping the trigger to get only explosions, and yes, I do have Demolition Expert max out equipped to use this gun as it's basically a must. Oh really, there's no normal galpers? Oh, there are, okay. I see more galpers. Now I can actually shoot them even if they far away, but I need to aim for leg. And you can see those explosions are doing damage and I, I can just spam it. It's okay. I can just spam it and I'm doing damage. Out of VATS again, but that's okay. Again. Yeah, the smaller clip size, that's, that's another issue. What is he doing? He actually swim under the map. That's interesting. We are actually having a nice weather in the mire today. I like it. And now we need to do one more test, like performance without VATS, as this is like totally different category. And for that, we'll swap concentrated fire with skit shooter, because we'll not be using VATS now. Okay, now let's see this performance without VATS. We have some ghouls crawling out. Let's switch on the light. And it's like three shots. I need to aim low at the legs because like direct hits are doing the same thing basically. Then I don't need to hit them. I just need to aim low around the legs and I'll just shoot. Oh, this one was low level. I don't know how that happened. Are you high level? Can you get out of the wall, please? No, that's fine. Yeah, that tail is level 75, that's fine. I need like two, sometimes three shots. Yeah, that's that's okay and it's easy to hit them. Now let's see if combat shotgun can compete. Unfortunately in here, we'll need to hit them. There is no way to 
There is no way to just aim for legs. Even if I will have explosive combat shotgun, there, there is no way. Because explosion portion of the damage on regular shotguns is really small. Oh, and I should be actually sneaking to properly test it, but I was able to already kill them fast. Yeah, now it's now it's easy. Who's the winner for a hip firing? Uh, I will say like for close range, definitely combat shotgun, but if enemies will be a little bit farther away, then Gauss shotgun have this advantage of the range. And should be a sleeping ghoul here. He's not home today. Then I don't know what happened. Yeah, the sneak damage is very helpful in this case. And it's easy to hit. It's not hard. I probably don't even need to try to aim for the head. This was one hit because he was level 50. I don't know what level 50 are doing in here. And we have couple guys in the torso. Yeah, it's two hits in the torso. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy. The close range way better than Gauss shotgun. And now after we did those testing, do you have your winner already? Because to be absolutely honest, for me, I need both. They are so different. Like those two shotguns are not even similar. They are so different that I need both. Like for the medic's effect, I really like my combat shotgun. It's amazing. If I want to snipe enemies that are farther away, regular mobs, I need my Gauss shotgun. It's really great for that. The, the range, it's only 120 in here, but as those explosions, as I explained on my review of the Gauss shotgun are different than in case of regular shotguns, you can use it for a really far away snipes. In VATS, of course. Without VATS, it's really hard to hit what target that is far away. Then I need this Gauss shotgun and Vampire is the best effect for your Gauss shotgun, at least in my opinion. Uh, on second place will be probably anti-armor Gauss shotgun, but I really like Vampire. As of course, every single pellet is triggering this effect. It's how I can stay full health regardless if enemies hit me or not. The same apply to combat shotgun. Every single pellet will trigger the healing when you crit as well. Every single pellet will trigger VATS related perks under luck, like four leaf clover. And if you want to ask which one is better for the bosses, unfortunately, none of them is really good for the bosses. In case of Gauss shotgun, you will need to aim really low for the legs if you even can hit them or fully charge it that in case of Scorch Beast Queen, Gauss Shotgun will be doing really poorly. In case of Wendigo Colossus, it will be okay if you hit the leg, you should be able to get him with explosion as well. And Combat Shotgun will be doing quite okay if you are able to get really close and aim for the head in VATS. Then None of those scenario is perfect and none of those weapons is a high DPS weapon for boss fights. Therefore, here both are the losers in case of the boss fights, but you can still help your team if you will use your shotgun to just cripple the boss and make the fight easier for everyone. And that's basically my comparison. Let me know if I miss anything important and definitely what's your pick or maybe you are like me and you need both. I need, I really need both on my shotgunner build. But now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.